Good evening, nublings, and welcome to a singular English nub, Malachi the Lobotomite, plays Zombie, Zombie. So, um, anyway, yeah, we're going to jump straight into it. Sorry, guys, it's been a while since I've actually recorded anything, because I went on holiday and blah, 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 shit. So, anyway, this just came out on Steam. Sorry for the wobbling camera, then. And I was like, oh, my God, I remember this game. It came out on the Wii something. I don't know. I never had a Wii. But I never played it, and I've never seen anything of it, but I was people have told me it's good, and I've always been really jealous that it was never on any other console. So now that it is, I'm going to jump straight into it, and it's going to be amazing. Let's start with normal mode. Ooh. Let's go with standard. Ooh. <laughs> so anyway, I literally know nothing about this game. All I know is it's set in London. Yep, a bit of Bible. You always need a bit of Bible when you're starting a game. Oh, the itch. alchemy of wealth from air will bring a second blight upon mankind. Second. This fog of death will cloak the land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those He's who an asshole, isn't he? not his words. Thus will the end come. And the world, made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew. Ooh, this is good so far. I like this. Me. Oh, you might want to get out of there, dude. This seems really nice so far. I'm looking forward to this. Just pretend you're dead, maybe. Oh, a policeman. Get out. What's that? Hey, over here. Come down into the station. Don't be so loud. Yes, you. I've got eyes on you. Follow my voice. In the tube. Ah, uh, run. Yeah, that's why. Don't just stand there gulping. Orange. Yeah, idiot. Whoa! Uh, can I sprint? Whoa, shit! That button turns you around! Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Up the ladder, up the ladder. Up. I'm trying. A to crouch. Oh, fuck me. I like this so far. Oh. Okay. Just land the buttons. You're fucking helpful, aren't you? Nail barricade. No, let's just open it. Use your flashlight sparing. It attracts the infected, and you need to economize those batteries. Okay. Oh. What could I loot? The game was saying something about looting. Oh, empty. Can I crouch? Climb over. Oh, fuck. 
Run in the door, in the door, in the door, in the door, in the door. Oh. It was very fun. It's pretty tense for a beginning. Let's get a bit closer to the screen. Loading. To the you know why? Because I'm always prepared. You might not believe it, but I knew this was coming a long time ago. Now, see that device on the workbench with the screen? Pick it up. What? Oh, over here. I built that myself. I call it the prepper pad. It's a smart map with radar and a connection back to me. So I can watch over you, and you'll need it. Okay. Better sort the lights out. There's a generator in the toilet. See the green light on your smart map? Now you can see what you're doing. Ah. Go back to the main room and look at the monitors. I wonder how many people have been here and died before I got here. Oh, nice. I suppose that's what passes as a shower these days. Oh, you can save. Um. Oh, it's so depressive. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of just like learning. What is this? I like to learn my area, if that makes sense. I like to know my ins and outs. See, unfortunately, I'm quite. I played a lot of zombie games like Daisy, Warzy when it was first out. Like, you know, I I don't really like the PvP side as much, but I do like the survival side. But as a general rule, I I did come up with a set of rules. I can't remember all of them. Unfortunately, they're very similar to the film Zombie Land if you've ever seen them. So obviously, literally the most important rule to me always, always the most important is when in doubt, know your way out. I, I have lived by this forever. I did have a good name for it, but that one is actually just the best name for it. So, so what I'm doing at the moment is purely learning my surroundings. Because it's the most important thing to do. What's that? Door opened? If you know your ways around, you know your way out, then, you know, the chance of it going wrong is less. It's just... No, in fact. Hmm? Let that do. Okay. That's pretty cool. So you can move stuff in front of other things. That's really cool. It's good to know. Uh, what's that? 
Oh, it's just one marked. Fair enough. Come on, he's there. You can see him. Go on. Pick up the cricket bat. Don't be squeamish. Whoa! Spoke an agreement between survivors. Because if you got infected, wouldn't you want someone to do the same for you? Hang on. Yeah, I suppose. Oh. Good going. A nasty business, but it's got to be done. Now, check that, Bob. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely going to need. Press what? Toby Bennett. Okay. Get prepared. More than 20 hours awake and your decision making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. No. Melee is also usually a thing I Head go back for. back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. Okay. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ. But they're wrong. I was a Royal Signals boy in the army. I can teach you a thing or two about secure comms. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. Great. <sighs> right. Well, that's definitely got us into the swing of things, so I think I'll end the episode here and jump straight into the next one. We're going to go out, and we're going to fix some cameras, and hopefully smash some skulls. I meant to do that. Smash some skulls. So anyway, thanks for joining us, guys. I hope to see you next time.